Yo it's random and today this video is brought to you by Morning Brew and by brought to you by I mean I got it from them and they're not paying me a single brown penny. Well even though it would be nice for them to pay me. Come on pay me Morning Brew. Pay me you bigots. But anyway today's news article is that toys will now be genderless. That's right. California passed a law that toys will now be genderless. Forget about China's supersonic missile. Let's go to the important stuff. Let me find it. Stuff. Okay. Toys will be toys. An article by Morning Brew. Just over a week ago, California passed a law that requires a large department stores to create gender-neutral sections to... Yes, that's right. Let me read that again. Just over a week ago, California passed a law that requires large department stores to create gender-neutral sections with a reasonable section of non-gender toys and childcare items. And to be clear, stores can still have boy and girl sections, but they also need to have an unlabeled section. The woke and anti-woke are dunking it out on Twitter comments over California's new bill. The first of its kind passed in the US, with supporters saying that it helps encounter gender stereotypes and opponents arguing its government's overreach. You know what's funny about gender stereotypes? The, I'm going to school right now, college for culinary arts, and there's more female females in my classroom than males. And the reason why this is a thing is because after years and years of fighting for gender equality, women are going back to the kitchen. And one time I saw this video comment on a YouTube video where a girl was like, what do you think about most of the YouTube cooking channels being men? Like, bitch, what? You're, bitch, what? Rosa Parks did not fight for this. All those feminists in the 1800s who fought for votes did not want this. She's, she's calling him a bigot because most of the guys who are cooking are men. This side, woman. Which... Which ones are bigots? The one who don't want you in the kitchen or the one that want you in the kitchen? Choose! You cannot have one or the other. Every single time I tell that joke, it lands. But when I told it to my sister, um, she treated it like I was saying some type of social commentary. She treated it like it, if it was Martin Luther's King speech. And I was telling her, it's a joke. It's a joke. And she was like, I know, but you gave me a, a lot to think about. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Like, sometimes I hear the phrase, men live off logic and women live off feelings. And I think, you know what, that's some of the most sexist bullshit I've ever heard. But every single now and again, my sister will tell me something so goddamn stupid that I'm like, you know what, maybe, just maybe, that phrase or that saying came from somewhere. But anyway, back to the article. The woke and anti-woke. Oh, yeah. you can also stores can still have gendered sections, but they also need to have an unlabeled section. The woke and anti-woke are dunking it out on Twitter comments over California's new bill. Honestly, if you're arguing with someone on Twitter, I don't care if you're woke. I don't care if you're anti-woke like me. You're still a loser, honestly. Because if you wake up in the morning and decide to fight over in internet comments then you have nothing good in your life and you should honestly just end it all. Like, I'm not sorry for saying that. The woke and anti-woke are dunking it out on, in Twitter comments over California's new bill. The first of its kind is passed in the US with supporters saying that it will help encounter gender stereotypes. I already read this bullshit without lawmakers forcing its hand. On the real side, Toys R Us, which is back from the FYI, announced was doing away with gender signage in its stores in 2013 and deleted boy and girls from filters in a website in 2015. Target gender aisles and labels, target next gender aisles and labels in 2015. Data for Walmart aisles, except you can still search by gender online. Even if stores leave their girl and boy sign up, they may have a hard time sorting toys into binary aisles. The mantle has the lines of genderless babies. Easy Bake Oven started selling a silver and black edition after a viral petition in 2012. The girly color scheme. Jesus fuck. Like seriously. Like there, there's actual problems out there. I mean seriously. Did you see what Activision pulled out? That That's actual oppression. Like seriously, Activision was like, oh, we love women, we love diversity, we're putting a non-binary person in, in Warzone, or that, the, or Cold War, whatever the fucking game was, and then there were sexually harassing women, or sexually assaulting, who, 
only God knows it might be it, it's probably both if we're being honest and and they're saying and they're the company with the most inclusion and the most bullshit out there and they created one of the most toxic work environments that I have ever seen shit the, 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 the article every single time I flip my fucking phone the article goes away it, it, it might be a sign from God telling me to stay away from this retardation but I don't know dudes okay Hasbro launch a potato set family set that lets kids match together non-traditional parental combos the largest brand to board the genderless toy train is Lego. Lego announced this week that it will completely scrap gendering its little blocks, which already don't discriminate between the bottom feet. You know, the only gender Lego sets that I have ever seen are the Lego Friends, because everything else that Lego has made, or every other kid that I have seen, are completely genderless. If you want to say that the, that the Lego Ninjago um, Lego sets are geared towards boys, then you might be right because Ninjago is an action-oriented cartoon that had that had the male audience in mind, but it's not saying only boys can buy this because honestly, gen Legos are as gender neutrals gender neutrals as you can see. But yeah, okay. The sir, seventy-six percent of parents said they encourage their sons to play with Legos, but just. 24% would recommend Legos to their daughters, so it's the parents' fault and not Lego. 71% of boys worry they'll be made fun of for playing with feminine coded toys compared to 42% of girls for masculine coded boys. So yeah, if you play with a little Barbie, we're gonna make fun of you. Honestly, if I had a kid, doesn't matter if it was a boy or a girl, and I saw them holding a Barbie and saying, Papa Random, can you buy this for me? I would slap it off their, their hand and say, that's for bull that's a bullshit toy. Because honestly, Barbie doesn't have a sword, Barbie doesn't ha have guns, Barbie doesn't have any of that cool shit that I grew up with. You're playing with Power Rangers, whether you like it or not, little Timmy or little Sammy. These discrepancies just don't stop at the toy aisle. Parents said they're more likely to encourage girls to cook and bake than boys, and more likely to encourage boys to play sports than girls. So, it's the parents' fault. It has nothing to do with the toys. Because believe it or not, um, toys Hasbro doesn't have to do this big social commentary. I know they tried to do that with Mrs. Monopoly and it failed horrendously. It was hilarious to see. But yeah, it, it, everything has to start with the parents. You need to teach your kids values, dudes. Zoom out for proponents of this gender neutrality in the toy aisle. This stereotyping of what girls and boys can do limit what kids can think they can be when they grow up. J.W. I hope Joshua Weissman didn't wrote this article because so, if he did, I'm burning the book that he gave me, even though it's a signed copy. But yeah, honestly, California, I'm going to keep it honest to you, you're retarded. Like seriously, there's a huge homeless issue going on in California right now. The rent is hellish to pay, and I'm going to tell you a little story that I had. My cousin recently came back from Puerto Rico, and he's currently living in Los Angeles, California. More specifically, Hollywood. And I asked him all the, a bunch of things about Hollywood. Yo, dude, how is it? I've been hearing a bunch of weird things about California. Do people get easily offended? Is it are there a lot of homeless people? And when I talked to him about this, he when he talked to me about this, he looked like he just survived war. It looked like a refugee came back from a guy saying that's the look he had in his eyes. And he was like, dude, everything you said about California was correct. People get easily offended. There's homeless people everywhere. The rent's super expensive. Luckily, um, his college pays for all this. Um, you know, they give him like loans and shit. But the rent is like a few K every month. And he lit. He must live in a shitty apartment. I remember one time this episode in Cobra Kai where Johnny was trying to find this new gym for him to practice. If you've seen Cobra Kai, you already know what it is. And it was this crack den of a building and you still had to pay like four grand every month. That's how shitty it was. That's that's why there's so many homeless people in California. And he told me, no dude, you're, everything you fear about California is exactly the truth. And since he's going to college like me, he told me, dude, the, prefer the professors have to ask what your gender pronouns are. Because a professor asked me, okay, um, blank, blank, because I don't want to say his name. What are your pronouns? And he was like, um, he, him. And I told him, if one of the professors said that to me, I'll, te I'll tell the professor, take a wild guess. Because honestly, I, I cannot imagine living like that. 
and I told him, dude, you need to enjoy this because since we're Latino, dude, they're gonna want every single Latino actor because of diversity, man. And he told me, you're right, man. I'm, I have this huge advantage and I'm gonna take care of it. Hollywood is no longer Hollywood. It's Wookwood now. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what to tell you about that. What's worse is that my sisters are, at least one of them, drank the social justice Kool-Aid because I was telling her how this whole land, I'll show you the meme right now that I showed her. And she said, random, come, I don't know why you're so supposed to land next. And I was like, it solves a problem that never existed. And every single Latino person that I have talked to would agree with me on that, honestly. It's just not her. But since she drank the good old social justice Kool-Aid, ah, that's happening. Oh, hell, the mighty have fallen. So yeah, California does not worry about homeless people because most homeless dudes are, you know, dudes only one in four homeless people are women so you know fuck them in and most of the homeless women receive more help than the homeless guys honestly i don't know what to tell you california wants to focus on this not the rent problem not the housing market not the overwhelming homelessness not the fact that my cousin looked at me with terror and said you cannot walk home at night dude the the homeless people will and I say will attack you if you're alone. It's not a if, it's a certified will. But anyway, I'm sorry that I made this video a, a little later. Honestly, I wanted to make this a few other days. And by the time this video is going out, the queen should die. Don't ask me how. My friend said it. My friend said she was gonna die. <laughs> and I told him, you know what? If she does die, then I'll ask, I'll ask this girl on, on a date. And I was like, and ever since I told him that, he's been like looking at me and he's like bothering me about this. So yeah, you know what to do, like share and subscribe and all that other YouTube nonsense. Please do it, I need subscribers because I cannot find self-validation. And yeah, that's about it, see ya.